melody. A melody is a series of notes played one after the other. When writing a melody, composers are combining two other elements, pitch, whether the notes are high or low, and rhythm, the combination of notes of different durations. When discussing melody, there are three main things that you need to consider. Is it diatonic or chromatic? Is it conjunct or disjunct? And has it been decorated with ornaments? If a melody is diatonic, it only uses notes that are in the scale of the key. You can generally tell if a melody is diatonic because there will be no accidentals next to any of the notes. Nearly all Baroque and classical melodies are diatonic. Chromatic is when a melody uses notes that are outside of the scale. There will be lots of accidentals in this case. Beethoven wrote chromatic melodies to create drama and really challenge his audiences. A melody is conjunct if the notes move in stepwise motion. This means the notes will physically sound close together. A melody is disjunct if the notes move in leaps. This means the notes will physically sound far apart. And finally, ornaments. Ornaments are devices used to decorate the melody. Ornaments include trills, upper and lower mordants, turns, and achiacaturas. Ornaments were used a lot by Baroque composers because of the limitations that the harpsichord had. To summarise, a melody is a series of notes one after the other that change in pitch and duration. Melodies can be diatonic or chromatic, conjunct or disjunct, and they can have ornaments too.